Uh, we're on Low Green in Air Esplanade. And uh, as you can see, it's a fantastic grassy field right by the uh, beach here. And uh, the tide doesn't go out very far. And it's an excellent venue for all the sports we're running this weekend. Forecast today is looking really good. Um, it should be staying up this about 18, 20 knots for most of the day, uh, up until about four o'clock we're told, although it wasn't supposed to happen yesterday, it blew all day and all night. Um, Saturday it could be dropping off a bit and it might swing direction as well. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out what to do for the event because I broke my hand at the last event, so it's whether it's worth me entering to get the points, to get an overall position at the end of the year or just to sack it off and save the money. The gracious lands on me everything um, got the switch back move in again um, front switch front of line I was stacked on the 12 so it was nice um, it was just nice to be back on the 12 I love that I love riding the 12 it's just nice for you know kite low and, and uh, well, I was trying to keep my kite low anyway but, yeah, it was good glad to be in the final It was a really fantastic final there, it was really close between the top two riders there, it was absolutely uh, nail biting, uh, very tough decision for the judges to make there, but uh, yeah, it was good, excellent, that's how we like it. Uh, I've been doing it for about six years or so. Um, it's just nice because crowds can come up nice and close, closer than you can on the water, and just see us guys, and just it's so much closer to the action, so it's really good to watch. Basically, you can, like landboarding's got like it's just do what you want really. You can either do a bit of new school like unhook stuff for people trying to push on the land, but it's mainly just boosty, doing big big jumps, doing spins, bald offs, stuff like that really. Yeah. Uh, smooth riding, big tricks, uh, something original ideally um, 
just overall performance. We're not looking for craziness, scary riding. We're looking for something and it's happening all the time, constant. Yeah, I mean, kite landboard and kite buggy and actually is older than kite surfing. And uh, they do absolutely fantastic stuff, as you can just see above our heads. Uh, the uh, kite landboarding guys um, usually gain 12, 40 meter kites uh, today and it's playing 25 knots. They need to spot their landings each time and uh, the skill involved is immense. The kite buggy in, uh, they've got 20 kilos of kit strapped to their backside and they're doing some fantastic stuff. They're hooked in all the time um, and uh, there's very little um, uh, you know, error margin there. Welcome to Ayr in Bonnie, Scotland. Uh, day two, Saturday morning. Uh, it's looking good. Westerly wind at the moment. Lovely sunshine, just putting breakthrough. And everybody's looking quite keen and happy to get on the water. Hide it from your reality. Just a casualty of insanity. Idiosocratic daddy got automatically running and dug it from any kind of a size problem. We all got some. Hide it from your Anything to tempt it, heaven's gates up a minister. Mass dissonance past in the sense last. Mary Jane stands, cause I can't stand ignorance. If the critical mass in my physical, but mentally, if I excuse it's just to justify my wondering eyes, vision or perception. Up heaven's stairway, fixing up the fix for kicks that I can never rate. So don't be thinking about it anymore. With every war up by the side of me, the side of me is skeletal. Grim Reaper's trap with a sky, then I grow, blow and smoke, talking in everybody like a bread at all. Hide it from your reality, just a casualty of insanity. Idiosocratic addict automatically running and dug it from any kind of a size problem. We all got some. Hide it from your reality, just a. The comp scene's still quite small, but we all sort of progressed from just flying small power kites and then going to bug in and then. As per usual, with most teenagers, you want to like up the sort of freestyle side, and then we got strapped in, and since then it's just been going sort of from strength to strength. Yeah, to get into kite bugging, you go to your local uh, store, and they'll have like instructors who can teach you power kite. And once you've got the basics of power kite, and then you can sort of pick up a buggy, and then get down to the local field and beach and have a real good time. Well, I'd finished my heat, so I thought I'd go out for a free ride, so I just went out and had a couple of did a couple of tacks. And then I did a tiny little jump, nothing, I wasn't even doing a height loop handle pass or anything, nothing major. And I twisted funny in the air, my knee bent and twisted and I fell over and I just knew something had happened to my knee. So I body dragged back into the beach, the comfy people who came and got me, first aid came and got me and had to put ice on my knee and bandage it up. And yeah, it's pretty sore today. I'd, I'm really annoyed actually because I'm not going to be able to kite for a few days and I'm meant to be going to Ireland for the wave competition this week so I'm just going to have to see how I feel, might not be able to do it, such a shame. Yeah. So this morning we had uh, four races, 
Uh, of course, we had uh, Steph the Destroyer Bridge leading the way. Uh, actually, racing's all, it's all about a gentleman's sport. We let the lady go first, you know? Not that she's far better than us. Right, we're here on Saturday afternoon and we've had a fantastic day in there. We've had the uh, freestyle um, going on and we've done all the uh, disciplines. We've had the kite landboarding, kite bugging, and the junior kite landboarding uh, freestyle. We had eight riders in the freestyle. Uh, juniors, brilliant, and we had the course racing, we managed to get four races done, and uh, yeah, no, so all in all, really, really good day. Good morning, it's Sunday morning, everybody's bright and fresh after a crazy night on the raging bull at Jack Cactus Jacks, and uh, looks like we're going to have a nice sunny day, and looks like the wind's beginning to pick up. So hopefully we'll get a good expression session on and uh, land boarders are doing stuff today as well. Uh, the race course racing's already started, so hopefully all good and we should have a good day and a good end to the, the competition in here. We're just doing an expression session for the land boarding and the buggy in. We've got the juniors out there, we've got the pro men, the amateurs, the buggies, everything. I just went to Lambord for I think the second time and I tried a bat leap and I sort of landed but then I just landed on my bum so it was quite painful. <laughs> Everyone's gone home, We've had a fantastic weekend here and there, and uh, hopefully we'll be back again uh, next September for the event. As you can see, Glenn's had it. <laughs>